Okay. Same location. We return. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the speech up. Figure out if there's any more English coins or uh, any more wheats or anything to go along with it. It's a beautiful day. So we have school canceled and no power all night long and all day long. No power at my job site. Blah blah blah. So until the powers that be hash this out, we're going treasure hunting. You don't mind that much, do you? We brought the magnet for all of the swing. Video game morning. <laughs> First coin out of the hole. For some reason, it was a nickel. It is making like a... Oh, it's a 60. Look at that awesome pink patina on there. It's a 61. And, uh... Which is probably so pure, but it's ringing up like an 83 on the Garrett. So, for some reason, it's not a war nickel or anything, so it's just nickel. Not bad, huh? Look at this amazing knife, too. This looks like a nighttime spell. So we'll put the murder weapon in our back pocket. What else do we have? What are you? Are you charcoal? You are cool looking charcoal. But yeah. These are actually brand new, they just got a little bit of scum on them. Pretty cool. That'll work. Now there, it's our first piece of jewelry. It looks pretty old and I love it. It's a rose with a piece of turquoise in the middle. Pretty awesome. Nineteen sixty seven quarter an inch away. It's another good sign. Next one out of the hole. It's a penny. It's a wheat. Yay, we've unskunked ourselves. Nineteen fifty two. Weedy. Here's the next one coming out, and it's looking a lot like we, it is weedy, and I'm trying to get you a year, it's looking 34 to me, awesome, and of course where these are, there's all the older silver chains too. In the same hole with the wheat penny, 1965 dime. We are so close, it hurts. Okay, I'm joking out of the same hole. Is man, look at that nickel. It's not buffalo, but it's messed up. <laughs> you couldn't tell the difference at this point. 
We look real close trying to get a date. I'm toasted until cleanup, but obviously order in with the rest, so. Okay, we found everything that wouldn't be silver. <laughs> Let's find the rest of the age group. The next one hiding from me because it was on edge. What are you? It's a dime from 1970. Very thin. All is ready to go magnificent, so off we go. Got a good dock here. Let's see what's going on. There's the beach where they're working. It's the little one. And all is dragging her magnet along. Got the 500 pounder on there. Look at that brave girl. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? I'm that guy. Don't fall in there. Sorry, very shaky, huh? Wow. I wonder if you got something on there already. Shout for these metal poles and never get it back up again. Did you get the metal pole? Like I got to back up again. Jeez, for all that dragging, you better have some sort of something on there. A boat. Or a bolt. That'll work. All I got first find. What you get? What you get? What you get? What you get? Watch out, don't put your finger in there. Look at that crack opening and closing. And then there's a magnet thingy out here. Ooh. Ooh, look, there's a piece of wire. Ooh, like a watch battery? Oh, you must get your finger, Dad. Okay. Damn, that's some goods. Twice as much stuff, isn't it? Whoa. I'm gonna use that. Next pull. You're gonna use that one? Good work. Oh, yeah. Nice okay. color on it. We got that? metal sticking out of the plaster of something. Probably the plaster of the old building. Don't pour yourself in. Nothing. Let's try off the end. Super deep? No. Feels like it's really flat here. How's that? Could have been a lot of stuff lost out in here in between these two docks. Get on the ground? Okay, all of this pulled this out on the magnet. I'm not even joking. Can I see it? I don't want to drop it over the water. 
freaking crazy. Uh, freaking crazy. We have to take this road land, kiddo, because that's a clear set stone. And you never know. That's your stone. You pulled that in on the magnet. I guess I have to hand that back to you. What are you doing pulling diamonds out of the magnet? I'm like, I'll let you magnet fish. Haha, <laughs> offline the gold rings on the shore at the detector. She's like, oh, that's pretty. The stone pops out. It's loose. Holy moly. Close your hand around that. No, just one hand. Squeeze it tight. We'll look at it on shore. Don't let go of that now. Let's go secure that. Pretty rare to find magnet fishing, kiddo. <laughs> yeah. Snack break. <laughs> We're having a healthy lunch, you can tell by the orange finger. America's favorite snack food, orange stuff. It's not cheese. Cheese is an orange. We know that. <laughs> if you ever milk a cow and stuff that's that color comes out of it, just back away from the bucket. 81 signal. Try and slow down here for you. Oh. Okay. Question mark moving on. I've dug so many nickels in my life. 1980. Surely we have more coming here. Second one of the day. It's a cast master fishing lure. Oh yeah. Help me sort this out. Okay, here's one signal. Primer shell, uh, 16, something thingy. And over here, we had a high tone. Oh, there it is. Yay! 1979 penny. Paula just brought this over to me. I didn't even know you were looking for stuff over there, but you're still snapping. Three holes. The lobular. Man. That uh, is pretty cool. Good work. Makes me happy. It's been a lot of work. I was trying to get that. Uh, I just rubbed that on my cotton shirt, buffed it up a little bit. But I like that it's staying black. Everything else coming out of here, all the clads are pinks. And uh, beautiful, beautiful condition. I guess that's the San Francisco mint mark. I don't know what the little squiggle there next to it is. But bam. Not bad. Stoke, let's find some more. I was reading an 82 on the Garrett AT Pro. 82, solid. A flake of, I look at them, it says gold right there. It's really heavy. I wonder if it's like natural silver or nickel or something worn out. A flake of meteorite. We'll definitely put that in the front pocket and bring it home. Okay, and then what did I see? Oh, they have to forgive me for this. Let's go look at it now.
uh, keep in mind it's pretty blind to anything but the metal that I'm hunting. But the uh, rock caught my eye. Here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a pink jasper. That's what caught my eye because it looks like a river is running through there. See that? Let's see if I can get the right light on there. And then when I picked it up and looked at it a little bit, I realized it had been tooled out. Maybe if you look at the shape. But the stone itself is pretty cool. Look at that river starts right there. Runs across the whole thing. But yeah. Sure, I'm not gonna carry that one off the speech. I'll probably leave it on the table for a local. Look at the light coming through there. What a tool. That's a beautiful piece. Birds and fish and everything else. Even the clay in here is very clay. So blue. There's our next signal. I don't know if that was recording. I pulled it out of the ground. I'm not sure. But it's a wheat penny. Olives on the dock. And... Like 52, 53. D. Awesome. Means this whole beef could be infected with him. What do you think it's going to be? A screaming 85 here. Yeah. Ah, what about coinage? Uh, like an eagle. And it's a 94. Okay, next is a. The next got numbers on it, and it's like a tag, probably alligator tag. Oh, I guess it's a fishing lure. It's like, what is this, a lead arrow? It's a fish head. Mighty, mighty fish heads. Well, 
That is craziness, pure craziness. That's such heavy wood, painted and just heavy and old school. We'll be able to look that up. That one's probably collectible. That's nice, Ollie. Are you gonna keep fishing? Yeah. Wow, a diamond and this you know counts as a, a relic, like an antique. That's really cool. Happy with what I found today. I'm gonna keep going. I'm hoping I can find more cool stuff. I Looking like the black one. Nineteen sixty. What is that? Sixty eight. Have you going? Pretty darn close to the other one. And we got kiddo out here on the shore, so. It's a little ways up from there. Sorry about the noise. Everybody's got to work just because we have the day off. You know? 1984. More diamond. And here's our next signal. It's at 84. It's latched onto it. Uh oh. Seeing rust. Uh oh. Nail. What are you doing down there, nail? Oh. Uh, you know how that goes. The more square they are, the better they sound. Let's see if that was our screaming 84. I've never had a nail be that high. But I have had square nails be pretty darn loud. That was it. Here's our next signal. Reading a strong 8082. There it is. It's a memorial. It's a memorial from 81. Seventy-eight. Comes our little gear. Found some stuff. A little bit. <laughs> and port sinkers. They're always cool. Uh oh. Hoping this isn't attached to the dog. Yeah, there's nothing left yeah, on there's no no words left on that puppy. Assuming it's an animal chain. Pass the uh, machine over it again. Oh yeah, fifties. Pretty cool though. More goodies. Just busted the rust off of that. Looks like it had spokes. And the beveled inside reminds me of something that would run bearings on it. Any clues? Another cast master. I swear I didn't set this up. Look at this. These are all fish bones. Even shells. For some reason the water decided to wash them all up here. Let me know when you see it. I'm not the hook. Let me know. 
Uh, the bones and stuff. What's weird about this picture? Took my mind a second. Baby Loch Ness monster bones. Right there on Quest for Details. No joke. Look. It was obviously in its, you know, undelivered state. That means that they're out there. <sighs> that freaked me out. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? I saw a big old coin and went, whoa. Okay, somebody's one month badge. Well, I hope they weren't throwing it in the lake because they were giving up. Looks like it came off or something. Well, you never know. Still cool. Stick with it, man. Feeling happy. I got to grid the beach off a few times. Um, you know, 1968 penny on my way out, though. Awesome. Good stuff. What do you guys think? Good day? Good day. Thanks for joining me. We will uh, see you back at cleanup in one minute here. You're late. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We are in another cleanup. Here's all of our spectacular finds. Holy moly, where do I start? Let's start with, let's see, our larger junk. Just pieces of everything. Here's that hub spoke piece looking thing. Chunks like that. These are heavy, but they have chrome on them. Thinking some sort of window trim or something. Usual misfires, culprits, older uh, nails. These were all ringing up in the high 70s and 80s and stuff for some reason because of that wet soil. Um, different caps, probably a pipe cap or electrical fuse cap. Or pop tops. These were a good find. These work. These are in great condition. They're a little scummy because I didn't clean them up. But they got their spring to them still and they're all sharp and cool. And then we got our lead crescent. This is probably my favorite. It's uh, hand poured. See the hole punch through there probably with a nail. All the way around. The Jasper Axe. Or a piece, our dog chain, ball bearing, our one month token. So, this is Alcoholics Anonymous, I believe. Um, one month of sobriety badge. Our sunshine, don't know what the first part was, believe it's a tag off of a rose bush. We have our baby Brontosaurus skeleton. Um, Let's see, fishing lures, ammo. Here's the rest of the fishing lures. These are cast masters, jig baits, up and down, spinners, um, zinc pennies, not quite currency, 1983 US one cent and later, or US 10 cents, 1970, 1965, 2000 something, 1960-ish, 96, and then 84, US 10 cents. Um, here's our nickels, turned out beautiful pink, those are awesome, the older ones. Just the right stain and the right pH made it that way, 71, 61, 76, 83, and on up with a really old one. That could be just after Buffalo because of its condition. And here's our quarters, US 25 cents. So, 
modern 90, 94, 74, 73, 67. So you could see the uh, the coinage had had old age to it, had some dates. Not super, but older. 1973, 1960, 81, 87, 80. What are these? 79. Oh, I think it's 67, 68, 67, 67, 78. So I knew we were getting old. And then we went all the way back to here. So these are all wheat pennies. We got four wheat pennies out of the deal, which that's a good day just to start with. These two are both 37s, 1937. And we got like a 51 and a 52. We got our silver dime, pure silver, 1964. It's a transition year. After this, all dimes and quarters would be clad. Got a gear probably from either a, a lock or a watch and another one of these things resembles other things that we have found on the complete opposite end of the lake I'm wondering what goes in water that needs those and um, let's see yeah that's the wrap up on that basically and over to this is the glass that we pulled off it, uh, it was a swimming beach you could tell it's heavily used and I got started and then Ollie did a little more so we pulled a whole bundle off there. This I had to open up and defuse. I actually walked away from people because that's how I found it. Hi. Hi. Show us what you found. You were pretty proud of yourself. Running the magnet all yourself, huh? I found a worm. Nice. Fishing lure. Long. A fake worm. One of these. Things. Why do they use an eyeball? Well, because the jig goes on the bottom of it, it moves up and down, so it's the weight, and the eyeball attracts the other fish. Um, That's a hinge part, it looks like to me. Is that what you think? And then, like, just got back from a bike ride. Spring. A M booster. A spring? Uh huh. And a couple nails, and. Show your incredible fish, that is incredible. The fish? The detail on that is actually awesome. It's a solid wooden fish. Did you see the eyeballs? I washed it off for you. See it they're actually rainbowy? So it has plastic eyeballs, so I'm saying like 50s or 60s, and a tail that slides out of here. So they were changeable rubber tails. And uh, it's barely hanging in there, I'm kind of amazed. It slides out to the little notch. See the notch in the bottom? And then you can see the whole... Um, um, you found your what? Your deep diver on a different trip. You know what this is? It's probably for like hoisting up boats and stuff. It looks like a winch handle. You know, which would make sense on a dock because you're always lifting the boats up with the cable that goes around the thing. Oh, that slides in from the bottom. You have to slide it right in there and you'll see how good it fits. So they probably had different tails for the different colors they wanted. So that was their flare. But oh, yeah, okay. pretty cool. I mean, that is, that's that been down there since it got stuck. That's so heavy and wooden and crazy. That's a good find. It's a cable. That's probably what went around there. That's what that would wind up. You know what those are? I see you put them in order. Yeah. So we got a, a piece of the metal part of a rod, a really old rod. This goes on the side, so that's a bait caster or a spinning reel where you put your thumb on it and it goes part. Yeah, well, you can tell that goes in there and you wrote it down. So that to me looks a lot like an old, uh, you know, old fishing reel handle. Or pretty old stuff. Washer. I assume that rock had metal in it. Oh yeah, I see it. Show us the find of the day. Um, this. The find of all magnet fishing. How can you find that magnet fishing? Well, you have to be all of. So we haven't got it tested yet. And it popped out first before it, like, right as I got it on the dock. It, like, ah. it did what? It popped out 
right as I got on the dock. Wow, but you recovered it off the top of the dock? I was there with you. I didn't quite see it. You turned around and it was loose and you were like, oh, I just pulled this out. We popped the stone back in there. But uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I took my finger grease off of it. That helped a lot. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty hard stone, whatever it is, because it came out of that sand, unblemished. Looks a little blue. Could be a topaz or something, too. There's a lot of really pretty stones that are also kind of clear, you know. Well, good work. So, joint effort. We, uh, we hit that place up. We will see you next time. Remember, you can like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for coming with us. Any last words? That's it. <laughs>